Thank you for joining us on this Palm Sunday. And it's a day where, once again, I'm very cognizant of not having you here to celebrate with me, with Father Anthony. You know, we're missing something deep. But we have the opportunity to come together, even in a YouTube channel. So thanks be to God for that. Before I go into my homily, I'd like to share with you a, uh, some announcements. Uh, first of all, in case you're wondering about our palms. Yes, we do have our palms. And when Father Anthony and I, and I have Mass on for Palm Sunday, we will be blessing these palms. As Cardinal Collins has directed, we hold on to the palms and then we'll be distribu distributing them to you at a later date. So in case you're wondering, yes, you will eventually get your palms. A uh, second thing just to mention is one of the things you can do for this day is decorate your front door, maybe with a green branch or have them in a window. I know they're not palms, but it's still a, a symbol of what we're entering into. So I encourage you as a family to do that, whether it's in your apartments or your homes as well. Also, next Sunday for Easter Sunday, when we celebrate Mass, the Mass of Easter Sunday, I've got an interesting idea. We'd like you to send in your photos of yourself or maybe together with your family to nativity at myparish.org, nativity at myparish.org. And what we're going to do is we're literally going to tape those photos on the various pews of the church. And so even though Father Anthony and I will be celebrating Easter Sunday Mass in that way, a beautiful way, we'll be looking out upon not you, but at least your images and know that you'll be in our hearts that particular day. Last thing just to mention is, of course, please continue to join us as we enter into this virtual Holy Week, my friends. Now some words of reflection. Palm Sunday is a day that many people will recall as the Mass is longer than usual. I remember even my cousin Joanne mentioned that to me. All I remember is how long that Mass was. Well, it is a longer than usual Mass. Of course, we have multiple readings. Our Mass starts off with a reading of Jesus' entrance into Jerusalem, coming down the Mount of Olives, a day of great joy and festivity. But very quickly, the tone of our celebration changes from joy to a sense of solemn solemnity or very somber. Our first reading today is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah, and it's one of the four suffering servant songs that we find in the book of the prophet Isaiah. And this particular psalm is the third of those servant songs. Scripture scholars believe that Jesus obviously would have known these psalms very well as a practicing Jew, and that they would have been part of his prayer life. And in many ways, he molded his identity very much around the people that we hear about in these servant songs. And so today, which is the third of the four servant songs, describes a man who is beaten, mocked, spat on, tormented. He does not break, though, and he sets his face like flint. That definitely sounds like Jesus. Now, our second reading from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians, he starts off by saying, your attitude to us. He's saying, your attitude must be like Christ's. And then he plunges into a description of the humility that Jesus experienced, even to death on a cross. But then St. Paul roller coasters back up to when he concludes without shout of proclamation, Jesus Christ is Lord. And of course, what makes the Mass really long on Palm Sunday is the reading of the Passion of Jesus Christ. This year, it will be St. Matthew's version. It's a very sto uh, stirring story of menace and glory and features a large cast of characters, some noble, some cowardly, and some downright villainous. But in the midst of all of them, our focus never strays far from Jesus. And as this story unfolds, it meanders through the streets, the courtyards, and the places in and around Jerusalem and finishes off with his burial. In the tomb. In many ways, it is not a happy story. It's a sad story. 
Speaking of sad stories, every Sunday after our 9 a.m. Mass, at our 9 a.m. Mass, our young people receive this little document. It's called Explaining God's Word. And for this particular story for Palm Sunday that our children would have received if we were able to do so, it says, A Long Sad Walk. When Jesus carried his cross to the hill of Calvary, it was a sad journey. But Jesus knew this was what his father wanted. At the end of a sad, long, sad road, Jesus would experience the resurrection. My friends, our story of the passion is a sad story, but it's not the end of the story. For we know that Jesus would rise from the dead and all that passion, all that suffering, his terrible death would lead to something else, the glory of Easter, the glory of the resurrection. And so in many ways today, what we hear is a preview leading us into the events of, ex of this coming beautiful week. And so I invite you to continue to join together with your brothers and sisters throughout the world, participating in the daily masses and the things that we're doing here at the Nativity. And next Sunday, Easter Sunday, what a glorious day that will be.